Tool, Swamp Song. Okay, let me just play through all the different sections of this. Uh, I'll just jam right through them right off the top. Uh, afterwards, I'll go back through and guide you through it a little more with some uh, details and a walkthrough and all that jazz. Uh, before we jump into the song, please help out the channel. Hit that subscription button. You'd be doing me a big old favor, and I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's uh, dive into Tool, Swamp Song. <laughs> So we get the, the main riff right off the bat here. Real fun little uh, exercise here, I guess. Uh, it's going to be in a drop D tuning. Okay. So just take the E, drop it down a whole step there. So we get D, A, D. Okay. And then G, B, E. Okay, just that open power chord. Get plenty of dirt on there, too. Um, you can add some a uh, little bit of palm muting on these riffs, too. It sounds nice, especially for the verse sections. Um, so initially here, we're just going to do this open D to 5A. Okay, 3 open on the top D. Back to the 5A, 3 open on the D. Okay, so we're just kind of cycling through that same little, uh, you know, 5A, 3 open on the D. Uh, but then we shift a little bit, kind of just invert it really. And then we do 3 on the A and then five on the top D to open top D. And then just finish it all up with a three to five hammer on on the A. Okay, so let's just do it slowly here. All right. So it's just a matter of kind of getting that, that flow going. Um, then you just get it up to tempo. Alright, and getting into the verse 
uh, riffs here. There's three different ver verse riffs that happen. Um, it switches up a little later, but we'll get to that. Um, and they're essentially just kind of playing on the same vibe and feel of that main riff. All right, so initially we break it down pretty sparse here. And like I said, some palm muting on that top D goes a long way here. So uh, break this down. It's just going to be uh, open top D, rest a moment, two top Ds together, rest a moment, spread a couple of more out. So it's like, okay, something like that, right? All right. And then you just finish that up with the three to five on the A. You go through that about three times. And then we kind of, with the next riff, just kind of get a little little more going here. Um, so just hit some open top Ds, strum them, you know, about eighth note style. And you want to hit a five on the A with it for that little octave. Okay. So just go, go about four top D strums. All right. And then just come down and real accent that five on the A a little more. Come back up to open top D. Hit that 5A again, back up to a couple of top Ds, and then the 3-5. So slowly here would be something like... Okay, just kind of like shuffling in those little 5As in between strumming some open top Ds here. Okay. And it can be pretty loose, it doesn't have to be like super concrete with this. Uh, go through that about twice. All right, and then we get into uh, the last bit of it, uh, which kind of shifts it up to the middle D now, okay? Uh, and we just hit the five on the A, then an open D under it for that octave, and then we do the three open on the middle D to the five A, three open middle D to five A, all right, and then we just drop down, hit the five on the middle D to open, and then we do our three to five on the D. So slowly, that'd be like. Okay. It's just another kind of feel flowing thing here. And you want to go through that a couple times as well. So let's just do this whole verse pattern up to speed here. All right, now we get to the chorus riff. And this is another uh, timing kind of feel and vibe thing going on here. Uh, mainly we're just messing with open power chord, you know, the D-A-D. -D. Okay, just open and then the three and the five. And it's just a matter of kind of rolling that around and getting the little, uh, tiny little uh, shifts in there. Okay, so initially uh, you want to start this off by doing this kind of uh, first little pickup uh, chord here with the fives, all right, on the D A D, and then we just come off that to threes, and then uh, come back to the five, and then open. Okay, and then we get into our our long roll here of uh, open three five. Okay, and we're gonna run through that open three five a couple times. Okay, so go through that open three five a few times there after that initial five three five that happens. It just kicks off a little little bit funky there. But once you get, like I said, you get the feel of this, then uh, especially if you listen to the recording a lot and you just get the vibe of it, it gets to be pretty fun to play here. Okay, now, so go through that oh three five a few times. Now we do this little stutter bit, okay, that happens. It's like a open three and then back to open. And then we just kind of start that O three five over again. 
Okay. Okay, so you kind of like stuttered a little bit there on that three. All right, so uh, once you get into that uh, second measure there of the 035, 035, 035, open, three, open, you go through that, uh, you know, a few times. And then we get to the ending here, which initially this ending only happens once, okay, at the end of the first chorus there, where we're going to be uh, fives. Okay, we go fives, three, to a couple of fives, and then cut. All right, and then at the end of the this first time, like I said, we just do threes, and then open. Okay, and the open will get into the next section. All right, so let's just do this whole chorus bit slowly here so you can see it. So, like I said, just getting a feel of it, getting uh, the little stutters in there. Let's get it up to speed, though. Okay, and we would cruise through the... Uh, the main riff as usual, but there's this little subtle difference that happens at the very end in the last measure. Once we get uh, through that uh, second time we do the main riff. All right. It's, and all it is, is at the very end of it, we're just going to bend the fifth fret on the A. Okay. So that last measure would sound something like. All right. We get into a little noise solo here. And all this is, is we're just going to come way up high on the neck, uh, you know, past the fretboard here. So your guitar might look a little different than mine, but, you know, you get this little space in between the neck pickup and the fretboard. And you just want to kind of like fret down right there so that you get the strings kind of hitting the pickup and then just do some random, uh, you know, strumming on that. It's up to you. It's like a noise solo. So if you want to just be crazy with it, go crazy. So... Uh, getting close to the recording though, you just kind of want to get on the GBE here and just fret it and make strange noises. And so forth. <laughs> now we'll, when we get into the third verse, uh, instead of doing that usual first riff that we do in the verse, this time we're just going to hit a bunch of big open D chords. All right. Uh, you know, just give them each, you know, a couple measures worth here. And at the, you know, at the end of it, then we just tack on our little three to five on the A. So it'd just be something like this. All right, and as I noted earlier, uh, once we get to the third chorus here, that ending that we do, okay, that little bit, it gets a little more involved now. Um, we're going to do that uh, initial three, or sorry, fives, uh, and then we go to a couple of threes to five. All right, but now we do this little stutter measure here after we go through about three of those. Okay, so this little stutter bit is the threes, three again to five. Okay, so it's kind of like how the, the chorus ends, you know, but just we just carry it out a little further here. All right, and uh, we would go through uh, the five threes to fives again a couple times. All right, and the last time we go through it, uh, we do the th uh, fives, couple threes to five, three to open. Okay, so let's just do this all up to speed now. All right, 
it. And a special note with this, uh, on the very last chorus uh, of the song here, um, instead of you know coming off that very end, there were the three to open, just hang on that three. Okay, don't, don't resolve it at the end. So just hang on that three on the very last chorus. Okay, we get a little segue riff now. Um, it's going to come all the way up here to 12s. All right. And uh, it's just going to play around in these like 12s and 10s. Um, so just come on up to 12. Hit 12. Hit a, a few of the opens. Okay. And after that, right after that last open, come on to 10. Okay. Hold that a moment. Hit some, hit an open. All right. And then we hit a few opens together and then go to twos. All right, hold that two a moment, and then we go couple twos, three, five, open. Okay, just an interesting little segue riff that happens here. Uh, let's do it up to tempo for you. get into this uh, bridge section here and it's just a lot of kind of muted little uh, arpeggiated style riffs I suppose um, uh, but it, go through all these three riffs here about three times uh, once is no vocal and then a couple times happen with the vocal uh, so what we'll do here is for this first bit uh, open A to 5 D 7 A open A then come down hit the 4 G to seven on the A. Okay, so slowly that'd be. Okay. It's just this tiny little muted riff that happens. And you just want to get that, that movement down because you just need to crank it out uh, up to tempo. Okay. Go through that about eight times. Uh, next, it shifts a little bit. We do open A. 7D, 7A, open A, 5D to 7A. All right, do about that, do that about eight times. And now we get, we cut the muting, we get big with it, hit a, uh, you know, a big open power chord there. All right, and then we do middle D, open A, Open G, second on the D. Alright. So, like I said, uh, just jam through all these about three times. Let's do this up to speed for you. to the, I guess, the official solo now. Um, we're just going to hit a bunch of big D chords here, a um, few of them. Okay, and we just slide that all the way up to 14G, 15 on the B for that, you know, it's basically just a super high voiced version of that D. Come on up to that and you just want to give it, you know, some random strums. And now we can uh, get the wah pedal involved here. Uh, you want to come up to 17G with the 15B and give that a bend and then just kind of improv strum on that while improving the wah with it. Okay. And then slide that down. We're going to bend the 12G with the 10 on the B. Same deal with that. Improv the strum and the wah. down to 7G, 5B, bending, strumming, wah. Okay. And then, of course, down to 5G with the 3B, same deal there. Okay. 
Okay, and then just bring it all the way back up to the 17G 15B. Okay. So just having fun with those positions and the wah and strumming, just getting the uh, you know craziness going. Okay, now we get this post solo riff, and it comes back up here, uh, messing around with like this 12, but now we're going to get even higher with it. Um, basically, we're just going to roll like this open 12 to 15 now on the DAD there, okay? And uh, so you want to go that open 12, 15, go through that a few times, and then we just kind of come off it and then hit a couple of 10s. Okay, so it'd be something like... Okay, that type of deal. And uh, go through that, uh, you know, a few times. And then you want to go through that open 12, 15, open 12, 15 a few times. And then instead of going to the tens, then you just kind of end on the fives. Okay, that type of deal. So let's do this uh, up to tempo. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.